Hi, second graders. Welcome back to phonics. I hope you enjoyed last week's activities because this week we have four new suffixes for you to learn. So we learned three last week. We learned a bunch back in December and we have four new ones for you to learn today. Okay. So remember a suffix is a letter or a group of letters that get added to the end of a base word. And when they get added to the base word, they change the meaning of the base word just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go through all of our new suffixes for this week, and then you're gonna do some practicing. Your first suffix is ness. N-E-S-S -S says ness. Repeat. When we add ness to a base word, we usually add it to the end of a base word that is an adjective or a describing word, and it turns it into a noun or a thing. So for example, somebody that's kind, we might describe someone as kind, they treat people with kindness. So kindness is a thing. Kind is a way that we describe somebody. Okay, so ness is our first one. Our next suffix is ish. I-S-H says ish. Repeat. When we add ish to the end of a base word, it means kind of or somewhat. So I might say it's warmish outside today. That means it's kind of warm, but not really warm, but a little bit warm-ish, warm-ish. It means like kind of, or like a little bit, or somewhat. Okay, the next suffix is in. E-N says in, repeat. It almost sounds like it should have an I in there, but the suffix is the letters E-N. When we add E-N to the end of a base word, it turns a um, it turns an adjective into a verb. So for example, I might move quick. I run, I walk, I'm moving quick, but I want to quicken my pace. I want to make it even quicker, okay? Um, so we add that to the end of some words to kind of make it more of an action. And the last suffix is A-B-L-E. A-B-L-E says able. Repeat. Yeah, it looks like the word able, but when we pronounce it, we usually say it able, almost like there's a U at the beginning. Um, and we add this to a base word when we want to describe a quality that something has. So for example, all of you friends are very lovable. That means you're easy to love, right? Lovable. Okay, so those are the suffixes for this week. They're a little tricky. We're gonna do some practicing. Remember, when we tap out words, we only tap out the base word, we don't tap out the suffix, okay? So for this week's words, we're still tapping the base word, reading the base word, and then reading the base word with the suffix. Here's your first one. This word is illness. Let's tap it out, ready? I, l, il, illness. Okay, so illness. You have an illness when you feel ill or sick, okay? Illness, so you'll see I underlined the base word ill, and I circled the suffix ness, illness. Okay, let's look at another one. This word is foldable. Let's tap out the base word. Ready? F old, fold, foldable. So when something is foldable, it means it's easy to be folded. You can fold it very easy, easily. So maybe um, clothes are foldable, right? a table that you can open and close might be foldable. Maybe you have a foldable chair. Things that are easily folded are foldable. Underlined the base word fold, circled the suffix able. All right, and our third example for now is quicken. Ooh, I just talked about this one. Quicken, let's tap it out, ready? Qu, ick, quick, quicken. So someone might say quicken your pace. That means speed it up move a little quicker, okay? Underlined the base word quick, circled the suffix en. Remember, en is pronounced in, quicken. All right, let's try some out together. Our first word for today is to describe the color of my shirt. Hmm. I would say my shirt is pinkish. It's kind of pink, kind of red. We're going to try to spell pinkish. Let's tap it out. Ready? P ink, pink, pinkish. All right. So let me see. I hear the P at the beginning. Ink. Ooh, that's a glued sound we learned a while ago for my base word. Pink. Ish. Ish. 
Suffix I-S-H tells me that my shirt is kind of pink. It's pinkish. Underlined the base word, circled the suffix. It's kind of or somewhat pink. All right, let's look at another one. My favorite thing about this blanket is the softness. It is so soft, softness. Let's tap out softness. Ready? Soft, soft, softness. Hmm, all right, one sound at a time. S, that's the S. Ah, f, t, soft, it's the base word, and then I need the suffix ness, hmm, ness. Remember those two S's at the end, softness. So my blanket is very soft, and I would say it has the quality of softness. Soft. All right, let's do one more. If you want to, um, to make your tea or coffee or anything sweeter by adding sugar, maybe honey, we would say that you would want to sweeten your drink. Sweeten. Sweeten. Let's tap it out. Ready? S -w eat. Sweet. Sweeten. Hmm. All right. One sound at a time. S -w, w. E. No, that's E-E, because -E, I've seen the word sweet before. T. In. I know suffix that says in is actually E-N, even though it sounds like an I. Sweeten. I want to sweeten my coffee or my tea with some sugar or honey or anything else. Sweeten. Awesome job, friends. Thanks for helping me spell those words. This is your job for this week to practice these four suffixes. I hope you enjoy your activities um, and I will see you soon for more phonics. Bye second grade.